these drugs they don't just increase your sperm count they increase the shape they they give your sperm that fine shape and also increase the motility of your sperm good day everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture room youtube channel my name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference and i make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers today i'm going to be telling you how to get pregnant with low sperm count yeah i think that's a good topic how to get pregnant with low sperm count especially for men that have oligospermia they've been battling with low sperm count and they've been trying to get a lady pregnant or trying to get a child of their own but before we go into details in today's class if you are new on our youtube channel please click on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out for all my returning subscribers this is not very very safe thank you let's go there all right welcome back like elia said today i'm going to be talking about how to get a lady pregnant with low sperm count how to get your wife pregnant with low sperm count for those that have not watched our video on how to boost your sperm count, I'm going to be leaving the video in the description box below so you know. And also, for those that have not watched our video on the difference between oligospermia and azospermia, I'm going to be leaving the link in the description box below so you have access and also learn more about sperm count. We all know that when it comes to sperm count, it simply means that there is a reduced amount of sperm. There's a reduced amount of sperm in your ejaculate. There's a reduced amount of sperm in your semen. And you know, when there's a reduced amount of sperm in your ejaculate, in your mass semen, it reduces the chances of, her, of him impregnating a lady. And also, if you've watched our video on how to boost sperm count, the first thing I said was that know the cause of that sperm count problem. Know what is really causing the reduced sperm count know what is causing the reduced sperm count that is why i always advise see your doctor see your clinical practitioner see them they will be in a better position to tell you what to do because once you have been diagnosed of low sperm count they will tell you to do further tests to know the cause of that sperm low sperm count because once they know the cause of the low sperm count it is easier for them to treat it it is easier for them to provide solution to it so I'm going to be sharing with the men how to get pregnant with low sperm count. So the first thing I'll advise you to do is to have sex frequently. Yeah, I just personal advice. Have sex frequently as much as you can, like every two, every three days. Try as much as possible to have sex. Then also encourage your wife encourage your wife to study their cycle let them know their ovulation phase let them know when they are ovulating when they let them know their cycle proper because when they know okay this is the period i am releasing my egg you people tend to have sex during that felt time window that may increase your chances of getting your lady pregnant of getting your woman pregnant then also the second thing i would like to share with you is avoid smoking avoid smoking smoking has been um, researched upon and it has been researched upon that it can reduce your sperm count second one i will have to share with you is avoid drinking alcohol or limit your alcohol intake people that drink alcohol people that take alcohol in excess might have reduced likelihood of impregnating a lady and may have reduced likelihood of boosting their sperm count then the other one i have to share with you is exercise yes obesity has been linked to low testosterone level so if you are obese you are extremely fat it's advisable you exercise your body to cut down those excess calories to reduce your bmi because high bmi when it comes to infertility issue is not something that should which is not something we should not take into consideration so we have to put it into consideration so we advise you exercise as much as you can to help you reduce those fat and reduce the bmi the other point i would like to share with you is avoid heating i said that severally on the video i when i'm talking to men avoid heat avoid heat to that scrotum 
because especially during this covid period that people are now working from home all those tech guys that are working from home they always put their laptop on their lap that heat is going to your scrotum it is reducing your sperm count it's affecting the sperm count so i advise you what you avoid heat then also for those that are doing um like truck drivers that are sitting for too long that can increase the heat around that area then um for people that put on tight trousers tight bosses as a man that can increase the heat in that area and affect your sperm count so try as much as possible to avoid heat avoid radiation generally avoid it because that can reduce your sperm count then sleep and rest avoid stress try and sleep at least even if you didn't sleep six hours a day why because the part of the brain that regulates there's a part of the brain that regulates um hormone production that regulates all these things so if you don't sleep that part of the brain will not relax that part of the brain will be overworked so that is why it's encouraged you sleep at least six hours a day that part of the brain that regulates those hormones that are responsible for um, um sperm production testosterone and all those hormones in the body that will help to you understand it will help to relax it and makes it function effectively well the other thing i will have to share with you is the medication what medications are you taking if you know you are taking some antihypertensive medications such as your amlodipine nifedipine for your antihypertension for your hypertension it's advisable you to communicate with your doctor speak to your doctor because those medications might affect your sperm count production so what i would advise you to do is to speak to your doctor before making any vital decision when it comes to giving birth so speak to your doctor they might change your medication or modify it for you and for those that go about getting over counter testosterone i advise you don't get those testosterone testosterone reduces your fertility it doesn't increase your fertility you it's not the way you see it so if you are taking testosterone with the mindset that it increases fertility you lie testosterone will only succeed in reducing your fertility as a man so avoid over-the-counter medication then the last one i would advise you to do is a prenatal vitamin for men so you know we have the prenatal vitamins for uh, women same way we have those vitamins that are important for women we also have vitamins that men should take for um to help them boost their sperm count to help them boost the shape of their sperm count and also to help them increase the motility of the sperm count so these prenatal vitamins they don't only just increase the mass sperm count it also gives the sperm good shape and also increase the motility of the sperm that's the ability of the sperm to swim to the egg it increases the motility so it's advisable for men to take this prenatal vitamins it's advisable you take it and also take it judiciously when you are taking it it's not something you take today you skip tomorrow you take next year you have to take it consecutive like every time for three months because it takes three months for new set of sperm to help this sperm to be produced so you have to take this prenatal vitamins for at least what for at least three months so sometimes these vitamins might work but because you are not taking it regularly and frequently the way you ought to take it that might make it not to work effectively well so if you know you are having issues keeping track with medication taking medication it's advisable you put those medication close to your bedside put water close to your bedside so even when you are asleep you remember you can easily take it or put it in the dining table while you are eating you can easily take it so this is my advice generally for men with low sperm count that are trying to conceive. Then before I go, before I close this chapter, I almost forgot. The other one that men should do, especially during IVF treatment, is known as intracytoplasmic injection. Intracytoplasmic injection. You know, the men, they have low sperm count, so we are trying to manage the sperm. We don't want to rush, like the doctors, they don't want to just um, risk it. So what they do for this intracytoplasmic injection is that they pick the sperm and fertilize the egg directly. Not that they will say sperm swim to the egg. They pick the sperm and allow the sperm to, they bring them together to fertilize the egg. So that is a method that increases the chances of giving birth to your own child with low sperm count. And also, if you are a man, this is an added, um, added knowledge. If you are a man and you know you have some cancer that they're going to remove, there's a possibility they might re remove the man's testicles, they might remove the man's um, reproductive organs. There's what we call frozen sperm. This sperm can be extracted and frozen till when you want to use it.
yes sperm can be extracted can be frozen can be kept for you to the expected time you want to use it then you can come and take it and fertilize um the egg for your partner so this is all i have to share with you yes this is all this is all i have to share with you in regards to getting pregnant with low sperm count thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers i am saying thank you bye and see you in our next video